Good morning, Razorback Nation. It is game day. The Hogs are taking on the Eagles of Georgia Southern. Now, last night, in part for preparation for this game, in part because I simply just couldn't sleep, and in part because I wanted to go back and see the things that I couldn't catch watching the game live, I went back and watched our game against Texas. And in doing so, apart from the obvious things and the things I already mentioned in my initial reaction video, such as the obviously great play of our offensive and defensive lines, the great scheming and play calling of Barry Odom and Bryles, so on and so forth, what stood out to me the most or what perhaps just excites me the most about this team moving forward is what I believe to be the inevitable and continued growth and development of K.J. Jefferson and our offense. Now, obviously, K.J. and the offense had a pretty good day against Texas considering that I think they punted a total of two times throughout the whole game and hung 40 points on the horns. But as I just stated, there was definitely visible room for continued improvement. For example, if you'll recall in the first half, the couple of plays where Blake Kern motioned to the opposite side of the field and went out into the flats and KJ threw it to him and it resulted in him getting blown up by a defender both times. Each of those plays were RPOs in which KJ read the defense incorrectly and threw it to Kern when he had other and better options. On the first occasion, he made the correct decision to pull the football, but he should have hit Burks on the slant route rather than Kern in the flat. There was another occasion where the correct option would have been to simply hand the football off to the running back. And yet another play in which he handed it off to the running back, but he had Hudson Henry wide open in the flats. And obviously the offense as a whole has to do a better job of finishing near the red zone, of capping off drives with touchdowns rather than just field goals. Shout out to our stud freshman kicker, by the way, Cam the Man Little for going 4 for 4 in that type of environment. And those are just some examples. Like I said, KJ and the offense certainly played well. Otherwise, they wouldn't have moved the ball the way they moved it and put those 40 points on the board against Texas. But Bryle's system and the way he utilizes his different weapons gives this offense so much more room to become increasingly potent and deadly going forward. And I firmly believe as KJ and as the offense continues to get these live game reps, that's what's going to happen. They're going to continue to progress. They're going to continue to improve and continue to become increasingly tough to stop, especially considering what we've seen from the offensive line in these first two games. So other than how disciplined can our defense be against Georgia Southern's triple option, how crisply we execute today offensively will probably be what I most closely watch. Well, I'm out of time. Thank you for your time. I pray you all stay safe and well, and go Hawks!